Greetings dear learners, I am faculty of mathematics at SRN International School, Jagatpura, Jaipur. Welcome to our SRN Knowledge Center. Today I have taken a topic from grade 8 mathematics that is linear equation of one variable. Today we will learn the solution of simple ex ex uh, equations as well as solution of complex equations. So let's begin the video. The objective of today's video is to solve the equations and to apply for the problems involving length and distances. Now equation, a mathematical statement that has two expressions separated by an equal sign is called an equation. The expression on the left hand side is equal sign and has the same value as the expression on the right hand side. Few examples are also there a plus 3 is equal to 5, 2x plus 5 is equal to 10 and so on. On one or both of the expression may contains variables. When an equation contains only one variable, it is said to be an equation in one variable. For example, 7x plus 5 is equal to 4 is the example of linear equation of one variable. Here we have 5x square plus x is equal to 8. Here also we are having only one variable that is x. If an equation contains two variables, that equation is known as equation of two variables. That is x plus y is equal to 8, x square plus 2y square minus 5x is equal to 0. Here the variable are x and y. Now linear equation is that type of equation whose highest power in the equation is 1. For example, x plus 4 is equal to 5. So x is having highest power 1. 2x plus y is equal to 8. So we are having two variables x and y and both are having highest power 1. So these are the example of linear equation. In other hand, in other word we can say that linear equation involve only linear polynomials. So here we have an expression 2x plus 3 is equal to 10. In LHS we are having 2x plus 3 and RHS we are having 10. So the value of LHS will be equal to RHS. So for that we need to find the value of x. So here we have another expression x plus 3 is equal to 12. So we need to find the value of x. There are some options available. We need to find whether the options are correct and or incorrect. So here we have x plus 3 is equal to 12. So x will be equal to 9. So last option is true. Now how to solve the equation? Any operation done on one side of the equation must be done on other side also. For equation to remain true, this is the basic rule used to solve equation. So the important rule we are having is transpose method. It means if there is something in LHS and if we want to transpose to the RHS, we need to do some operations. So first rule is in that category is a term in an equation that can be transferred or transposed from one side of the equation to the another side by changing its sign. So change of the sign is very important. So x minus 12 is equal to 5. So we will keep the variable at one side and constant another side so that we can find the value of variable. So x will be equal to 5 plus 12 means minus 12 when transposed to the RHS becomes positive 12. Similarly, we can solve the equations for different questions. Now solving equation, we if division is in LHS and we, if we want to transpose the divisor to the RHS, then it will convert into multiplication. It means division will be con converted into multiplication and multiplication will be converted into division. So here we have x upon 5 is equal to 10. So it becomes x is equal to 50. 5x is equal to 10, so x will be equal to 10 upon 5, means multiplication will convert it into division. Now after knowing the rule, we can apply in simple equation, that is 3a minus 5 is equal to 16. So 
we will write 3a minus 5 is equal to 16 we will keep the variable in LHS and constant in RHS so 3a is equal to 16 and minus 5 will transpose to positive 5 so it will become 21 so 3a is equal to 21 a will be equal to 21 upon 3 that is 7 so this is the value of variable a similarly we can solve for different questions if variable are placed in both the sides so we will keep one side for a variable and another side for constant so we will write x minus 5x is equal to 5 plus 3 so 4 minus 4x is equal to 8 so it will give you x is equal to minus 8 upon 4 that will be x is equal to minus 2 so in this way we can solve the questions related to the variables and we can check the values by putting the value of answer in the given question in the place of x now there are some complex examples in which a upon 3 plus 1 upon 4 is equal to a upon 2 minus 2 upon 5 so for that again we will first take the LCM then we will transpose and find the variables so here we will get 4a plus 3 upon 12 is equal to 5a minus 4 upon 10 so we can write 10 into 4a plus 3 is equal to 12 5a minus 4 and if we solve it completely you will get the value of a is equal to 39 upon 10 and we'll check the value by putting the value of a in the equation that is in place of a we will write 39 upon 10 that's all for this video thank you so much do like subscribe our channel bless you kids thank you